All right, guys, I'm back again. The junkie. I got another mega haul. Um, so let's get started. Um, as you guys know, I've been working on my defenders run. Um, I'm really, 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 really close to finishing it up. So on eBay, I was at work one day and I saw these books, and I figure I'd snag them up. Um, a couple in here are doubles. But, um, I'm making a trade with, uh, got a new YouTuber that I just kind of started meeting, or following, Matt Burdock. So, some of these books are for you, buddy. Um, I'll let you know. I'll get your package in the mail probably next week. Um, Valentine's Day, so I have to buy my wife some tonight. So, as you guys understand, I'm sure it's way for everybody. But, yeah, and Full Killer, I'll have your package out. And, uh, Vin Crew, I'll get your package out to you, too. Um, but yeah, let's get started. First off, Defenders number 31. Defenders number 35. Defenders number 37. Number 40. Like I said, guys, I'm real close to completing this, uh, series, so I'm excited. 41. 43. 45, 50, 52, 53, and 54. Like I said, Matt, i got to check my list, and whatever are doubles, these are yours. And, of course, my entire uh, set of what I have of uh, Master of Kung Fu. I've probably got like 20 or 30 books, maybe more. Um, so those are yours, too. So... Up next is Defenders 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 151. Oh, and here's 150. Yeah, it's weird. Like, in my collection, I needed the very end of the run in the very beginning so I had everything pretty much in the middle so this here really 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 helped me out so I'm hoping at Comic Con um, I'm gonna have plenty of money uh, we got the hotel room right next to the convention center so I'm pretty excited so I'm hoping I can complete a bunch of runs in the quarter dollar bins um, up next is I bought this Another variant covered Star Wars number one. It's the loot crate, still in the baggie. Um, I bought this. I think I got it for two ninety nine. Is really cheap that I got it, but the person sends it in a fucking Manila envelope with just a fucking backing board as protection. Why do people do that? I just that is going to be a rant video that I'm going to have, and that's something all in its own. It just drives me nuts. That people that send comics the way they do. It drives me absolutely insane. I have um, on my eBay, on my page, and it, it states clearly that if you're going to send my comics in an envelope with no protection, it's an automatic negative review. Automatic. Now, I don't give a shit if the book got damaged or not. It's an automatic negative. Because that means you didn't give a shit and you didn't take the time to take care of something that I bought. Whether I got it cheap or not, that's not the issue. If you didn't want to sell it for that cheap, you shouldn't have put it at that low of a price. Right? So, if you don't give a shit about how my book gets to me, then I don't give a shit about your score. So, that's that's how I do. I'm sorry, guys. I know that's a little foul. But if they don't care to take care of the books that I buy, then I'm not going to care about their score. So, there you go. Up next, um, I got these for a quarter apiece. I already had the entire run, but these are some different covers that I didn't have. It's The Waking by Zenscope. Um, there's issue number four and three. 
And here's, you know, another different covers that I didn't have that I, you know, Zenscope puts out like 10 different covers for each issue. So this completes my whole little set of all the little different variant covers and all that good stuff. Up next is another set that I want to try to complete. It's Ghost Rider 2099. And I can't remember what I paid for this set, but I got a pretty good deal. Um, there's issue one and two. I think it's 25 issue run. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And 14, and then issue number 16, and then 17, and then issue number 24. I think it went up to 24 or 25 issues, I'm not sure. But I almost had the entire run of that, so that'll be pretty easy to complete. Um, yeah. Up next is, you guys aren't going to believe this, but I won another lot of Justice League Dark. Yeah, so... I have one more lot coming of Justice League Dark. With this, I almost had three complete entire runs. Up to 30. Now, I need the newer issues, but those are those will be easy to get. But there's issue zero. There's issue number, the annual number one. There's issue number one, first print. And I don't know if it was a mistake or I just didn't read it right, but I got two first prints of issue number one. I thought I was only getting one, but I got two. So, yeah, I'll take it any day of the week. There's issue two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 26. So yeah, guys, I have one more lot of Just Sleep Dark coming. So, with this lot, the lot I got coming, and the one I got in my previous video, like I said, I have almost three complete runs up to 30. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, you know me. What would a video of mine be without having multiple sets? Okay. Up next. Something I just bought. Comic Book Estate. This is for you. These are comic book dividers. They're just plastic white dividers that I put in my box. And they're tall enough that they just... Here, I'll show you. I'll put a comic up next to it. There's just enough space with the bag and board that you'll be able to see a little bit of the title. But they fit perfectly in your box. Um... Like I said, with my label gun, I can just put Ghost Rider 2099 right across the top, and you can flip them. So this way, they're in your in your boxes where you can flip them like that. So you can, you know, you, you they don't all have to be facing the same direction. With the cardboard ones that I have from here, they're white on one side and brown on the other. So I didn't like that, so I bought all white. They have all black ones, which I really wanted, but they're a lot more expensive. But they fit. In your box, in your comic book box, and they don't bend. They won't fold. They'll fit flush in your box. So I paid free shipping. I bought two bundles of, tw uh, I think, 25? Yeah, there's 20, 24 dividers in each package. I bought two of them just to try them out. So that's like 50. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So tonight... I bought more labels for my gun, and I can uh, I can make uh, some, you know, label them up and put them in my box. Up next, on the 21st, I already talked to Adam Day. I'm going to hook my boy up because he doesn't get a lot of artists to come out his way. 
over there across the pond. So, Adam, these are some of the books I bought. I'll probably buy a couple more just to have doubles. But let me know which ones you want. Send me a message, PM me which ones you want to get signed. Humberto Ramos will be at my shop on February 21st. Now, they haven't disclosed how many books he'll sign, whether it's one, two, three, or four, um, but there will be a limit. I already talked to the guys at the shop. His manager hasn't decided what that limit will be. He's only there from 12 to 6, so of course, you know, me being the junkie, I'll be there at like 8.30 in the morning. Um, so these are just some of the books that I want to get signed that he did the cover work for. Um, I'm a big Wolverine fan. I asked Adam Day which ones, if he wanted, what covers he wanted. He said he didn't care. So, Adam, you tell me which one of these books. Depending on how many, if he signs like five or six books, I'll send you like two or three. So, yeah. So, I got Wolverine, Silver War, number 47, number 44, number 43, number 46, number 45, and number 42. But please let me know within the next couple days which ones you want. Because if it's the same ones that I want, I'm just going to order more. They're cheap. I got these off my comic shop for like $1.20 each. So they're dirt cheap. So just let me know. That way if I want, like if you want this one, I'm going to kind of want this one too. So I'll get another one and I'll just have two of them signed. That way one for me, one for you. But depending on how many he signs, Adam, that's how many... You know, I'll split it with you. Like, if he signs six, then I'll, I'll send you, like, three. If he only signs four, I'll send you two. Okay? So that's it, guys. That's my big haul for the week. I have some more books coming, hopefully tomorrow or this week. Um, I will also, tomorrow, put up my trade video. Um, I've pretty much gone through my books, so I have more books for trade. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Sorry, guys, it went so long, but I wanted to... Make sure Adam Day saw these books. These are the ones I picked, Adam. Um, so, yeah, you just let me know which ones you want signed. And if it's the same ones that I want, I will go ahead and order more copies. And, uh, yeah. So, pretty excited. Humberto Ramos will be at my shop. First time in Florida in eight years. Um, so, yeah, hooking Adam Day up, man. He said he doesn't get many, you know, many uh, authors or artists out there, so... I'm going to hook my boy up, man. That's what that's what comic community is all about. So like, thumbs up, subscribe. Junkies out.